game-based learning, I think of learning, like, with using, like, moving around, like, using, like, activities. To me, game-based learning means to learn by playing games. The history of games for learning started in 1969 when Sesame Street utilized games for preschoolers via Square One TV. However, the first computer games were not introduced into the classroom until the mid-80s. Examples of the games were Oregon Trail, in Carmen San Diego. The use of games in the classroom offer many benefits. Some of the greatest benefits are motivation and the development of 21st century skills such as problem solving and creativity. Various research studies have confirmed that the use of games in the classroom have proven to effectively engage and motivate students to learn. A recent study found that teachers who used games in their classes saw an improvement in student scores and skills. Teachers who used games were also able to teach a wider range of standards. In addition to the benefits already mentioned, games also offer identity, interaction, customization, immediate feedback, well-ordered problems, smart tools, and they assess performance for competence. But just like with any 21st century concept, game-based learning has its challenges. The greatest challenge that game-based learning implementation in the classroom faces is the lack of professional development teachers have received. Teachers have reported they do not feel adequately trained to effectively implement the use of games in the classroom. The lack of game-based learning knowledge among teachers attributes to the stigma of game use in the classroom. Although many teachers and administrators are skeptical of games for learning in the classroom, research implies there is solid evidence that games in the classroom come with challenges, but offer various benefits that students would not be able to gain from a traditional class lecture or setting. 